Okay, here we go. 513 part B. Welcome back. So, domain values, right? So, we're talking about all real numbers. Okay, except those real numbers cannot be equal to any of those asymptotes. Where are those asymptotes located? Well, this is pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 2. The next one, anyone to guess? Well, if it's 1 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, this is a pattern. The next one will be 5 pi over 2, and then 7 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, 11 pi over 2. So it's all real numbers not equal to n pi over 2. All right, all real numbers not equal to n pi over 2, where n is an odd integer. What about the range of secant of x? Well, any number bigger than 1 works. Any number smaller than negative 1 works, but nothing in between works. There's a big blank space in here. Okay, so we're talking about all real numbers greater than or equal to 1, or real numbers less than or equal to negative 1. So there's your range for secant of x. Again, anytime you need to get caught up or we're moving too fast, all you got to do is push pause, okay? Moving on, we got 5-32. They provide you with a sketch, okay? So in 5-32, you're going to take that sketch and you're going to reciprocate it. You don't need to know the functions. You can reciprocate any graph given to you. But at least you will be able to, hopefully, to get full credit on the quiz or test that I give for this section. So we have 5-32 given the graph at the right, copy the function in your notebook and then scratch the graph of 1 over f of x. So give me one second here or two or three, but who's counting to get the sketch of that graph? I see negative 4, 0, 4, negative 4, 0, 4, hopefully you're realizing why I'm plotting those points. Alright, so that graph looks something like this. It might not have a flow. Ah, geez, I have just about as good a luck with markers as I do chalk. There you go. That's about what your graph should look like. And I need you to sketch that in your notebook also. Doesn't have to be a Picasso. Alright, remember, first step is always to look for what? Yes, that's right. X intercepts. Bam, bam, bam. Three. We have three VAs. Sketch them. Here we go. VA, VA, VA is for lovers. Tell me where the quote's from. Here we go. Now we have our VA sketched, okay? So cannot equal negative 4, x cannot equal 0, and x cannot equal 4. That means the equation for this green graph here has three roots. At negative 4, 0, and 4, that means it's a cubic. All right. And now we just do each section, one at a time. All right, so if I take this section here to start, that's about 6. Reciprocal of 6, 1 6. My green graph is getting closer to what? It's getting closer to 0. That means my reciprocal is going to get bigger to infinity if I flip it. Same thing over here. Go to infinity. Hopefully, some of you are starting to put together some of the patterns here. Because this isn't really that difficult when we're just drawing sketches. And that's a huge part of calculus, okay, is that ability to, to know what a graph's going to look like and be able to get a quick sketch of it and then be able to use that graph. Here we go. Over here, my green graph is direct. So remember our original problem, x minus 3, was a direct variation. When we flipped that, it looked like what? It looked like a hyperbola. If you're not ready for that yet, okay, then same process. As I leave the asymptote, green is getting bigger, that means purple gets smaller. As I approach the asymptote, green is getting smaller, that means purple gets bigger. Simple as that. Over here, as I leave the asymptote, green is getting what? It's getting bigger. That means purple has to get smaller or closer to zero. As I get closer to the asymptote, green is going to zero. That means purple is going to go to infinity. There's your graph. 
one, two, three, four sections, four points. One, two, three asymptotes, three, seven point problem on a test. There you go. Last is 33, using the resource uh, page provided by your teacher that I did not provide you, uh, sketch the graph of cosecant. So cosecant is going to look a lot like the graph of secant, okay, except now you're going to use sine instead of cosine. I'd like you to go ahead and do that on your own, and I will see you tomorrow.